Hello everyone, Sarah with you today for Technique Tuesday. This month we are working with embossing folders. So I'm going to start with some scrap pieces of paper. You can see I have two kind of example ones here. I'm going to show you a little quick trick to help you get really good embossing results. Here's the trick. Rub your paper with a baby wipe. Get it just a little bit wet, just a little bit, and you will have the best results for dry embossing. I like really simple embossing folders. The one I'm using today is just a Swiss dot. So it's just gonna give me uh, just a fun little polka dot embossing. And once I had a bunch of white pieces of scrap paper embossed, I'm giving everything a light rub with the brand new saltwater taffy, taffy, can't speak, saltwater taffy distress oxide ink from Tim Holtz. So I'm using a light hand and I'm just running my blending brush over the edges and a little bit in the middle just to put a little bit of color onto that embossed area. Once I had a little bit of color on my embossed pieces, I'm gonna die cut them. So I have a range of die cuts here. I'm gonna cut um, some Tim Holtz bows. I'm gonna cut some of my Catherine Puller tags. I'm gonna cut that cute little ampersand piece. And then I decided I wanted a little bit more texture and another embossed panel to back my photo with. So I embossed another piece of white called cardstock with a embossing folder we received in the cherry box, which I think it is was, I want to say March's cherry box, the one that had the Echo Park um, kit in it. And it also had the texture roll from Sizzix. There was a really cool, uh, 3d embossing folder in that. So I cut that 3d embossing for, or embossed that 3d embossing folder. And then I'm going to ink it up exactly the way I did before, but this time I'm going to ink it up with some tattered rose distress oxide ink and use it as a mat behind my photo. Photo that I am scrapbooking today is a picture of my sister and my two nieces. So it's like a little mommy and me photo. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to my embossing panel. I ended up using wet glue, so it stuck really well. And um, the tape runner didn't wanna stick to the oxide ink. I'm gonna add just a little bit of distress oxide in vintage photo just around the edges for a little bit more color and so that I'm sure my photo will separate away from my background. Now I'm just going to grab some washi tape to hold the dies in place and I'm going to die cut all of those embossed panels. I went ahead and did all of my die cutting. I put that cute little Tim Holtz bow together. And now I'm just inking the edges with some more of the saltwater taffy just to get a little more color onto these pieces before I put my layout together. I'm gonna be working with Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Cottage Fields collection today. For reasons I will never understand, there is loads of these products still over at the Cherry on Top shop. So if you are looking for this line, if you like this line, if you somehow missed it and haven't seen it before, but now you need it, <laughs> there is lots of it available in the shop. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite collections of all time. I absolutely love it. I'm going to use that little cut apart piece that says thankful for you. That's actually going to be my title for my layout today. And now I'm going to start kind of deciding where I want to tuck in my different die cut pieces, where I want them to go around my layout. I love that little bow. It turned out so, so cute. And 
the little amber sand as well. I am using a pattern paper as my background. I love this pattern paper. I love the beautiful butterflies that are part of this collection. And so I'm going to make this layout be all about the butterflies. I'm going to go through all the die cuts, all the stickers, and I'm going to layer butterflies kind of up and over the butterflies that are already on the pattern paper um, and create like a more fuller cluster of butterflies or a border of butterflies that'll go up the page. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my tabby dots to pop up this big yellow butterfly. I'm going to put it in the upper right hand corner and it's going to work as like my third little accent cluster on my page. Once I had all of my die cuts in place, now I'm going to go through the sticker book and I'm pretty much just looking for the same things, all the butterflies. I want to really bulk up that border that's down the left side and I want to use up some of the stickers. I have loads of stickers from the sticker book yet. I'm going to add a couple of black stickers just to create a little bit of a visual triangle. So I'm going to put a little a black kind of phrase sticker above my photo and then I'm going to find uh, two more phrase stickers and I'm going to place one off in that uh, kind of border piece with the butterflies and then one up at the top. I'm also going to grab this label sticker and I'm going to use it to date stamp my layout as well. So I decided I needed something else, something that wasn't a butterfly. I wanted something I could just kind of sprinkle around. And in the sticker book, I saw these cute little hearts. They were all um, in the colors to match the collection and they weren't very big. They were kind of small and they worked really well to add that last little sprinkle. I love finishing details on my layout. That is my favorite thing. It's my favorite part of uh, creating layouts when I'm all finished with them. I want to add just these little details that kind of fill out the design and make everything work together. Sometimes those are enamel dots, sometimes they're se sequins, sometimes they're splatters. In this case, it's gonna be these little heart stickers that I think were just perfect to kind of fill in areas of my layout. I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial today for Technique Tuesday. I hope you have a couple of tips, learned a couple of tips and tricks of how you can use your embossing folders in your layout, whether it be as um, die cuts or um, to back a photo with, or to ink up and just create some really fun texture and dimension on your page. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Here are all of your close-ups and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.